we've noticed something slightly weird. Gravity, when you go onto the biggest scales, appears to be pushing, not pulling. Something out there has some sort of anti-gravity and we're trying to discover what it is. My name's Professor Tamara Davis. I'm an astrophysicist at the University of Queensland. So this is our remote control room for the Anglo-Australian Telescope. I study cosmology, which means I study the universe as a whole. I try and understand how the universe began, what the laws of physics are that govern it, and how the universe is going to end. My first memory of being intrigued by astrophysics was when Halley's Comet came by when I was about 10 or 11. Now, my parents took my siblings and I out on a houseboat and they showed us this comet that spread like halfway across the night sky. And while lots of people were going, oh, isn't that pretty? I was sitting there thinking, how do they know that this comet is gonna come back 75 years from now? The fact that humans could understand something like that and know that it was gonna come back, that caught my interest. And that's my first spark of being intrigued by astronomy. We now know that most of our universe is made up of dark components that we can't see with our eyes. The first is dark matter. We think it makes up about 25% of the universe and it binds galaxies together. The second is dark energy. It is the name that we give to whatever is accelerating the expansion of the universe. So it's the thing that seems to have a repulsive sort of gravity that causes the entire expansion of the universe to be speeding up. One of the things I think I'm most proud of is having made some of the biggest data sets that are the most precise that we've ever had to understand the expansion of the universe. Our dark energy survey just made a huge collection of distant supernovae, these supernovae that we use to trace the expansion history. If we can understand how the universe has expanded and how that expansion is changing with time now, we might be able to figure out what the fate of the universe will be. It's really a huge honour to have been elected as a Fellow of the Australian Academy of Science. You're joining a group where everybody is trying to improve the world in some way through their science. When I look at the vastness of space, it makes me realise just how precious our Earth is here. This little sort of 100 kilometres or so of atmosphere that we have above us is all the air that we're ever going to have to breathe and makes you think about all of these petty struggles that we're having here on Earth. What do they mean compared to the importance of looking after our planet?